What's up everyone, DIY Doug here. Today we're gonna go over wiring DC systems with say like an optimizer for Solar Edge or a Tigo and some optimizers for rapid shutdown. So a lot of our systems use microinverters and when you're doing microinverters and the wiring, the trunk cable is always going to end in the junction box. Um, with a DC system like a Solar Edge or any side of the string inverter or more specifically what we use a Solar, uh, we have what's called home runs. We're gonna go over what that is. All right, so specifically with the Solar, if you want it to be grade compliant, or, um, then you need to use these rapid shutdown boxes. So what's nice about these Tigos is they hook right into the panel, and just slide right on like that. So all you're doing is you're connecting the Tigo to the panel. Make sure to listen to that click. Okay, so then, as we go to the next panel, you'll have just this lead here. So this is a negative and positive. So what we're gonna do is actually create a new lead for this positive to make sure we can get it all the way back to this junction box on the roof. So this negative will hook up to this next panel. So you have the positive, right, from the negative on this panel, which leaves you negative over here. So as you have the panel strung along, you're gonna have either ending with a negative or a positive, right? These need to get back to the junction box. And so now we're gonna go over how we do that. Okay, so these are MC4 connections. If you look on the back of the panel, you will also notice that those have our MC4 connections. So this is your PV wire. We're gonna use a special tool called an MC4 crimping tool. Crimp this on there like so. Get that in there. There you go. All right, so we make sure this is nice and snug, and then we're gonna put this, slide this over the top, make sure there's a click like that, and the way you know it's in place and it's not gonna come off. And then we just tighten this down. The MC4 connections do have a negative and a positive symbol on them. So then we just we created these whips or these home runs, right? So then all we're doing is at the end of every row and the beginning of every row is where we plug those whips into. So we connect that in and that is gonna make its way, obviously, safely through the rail or whatever connections you, or sorry, wire management you have. And that's gonna go into the junction box here where you'll have an MC cable that is metal sheathed that you're connecting in here with some wire nuts. And then it's the same thing on the other side here. So just for the quick re representation, we have two panels here, but this could be a string of eight, nine, 10, whatever it needs to be. It's the same concept. The very ends, you're gonna have to get those wires back to this box. And we're using the PV wire because it's, it's rated for that heat. It's got an extra thickness around it. And so then this wire is just going back to that junction box as well. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um, if you have any other questions on how to do these DC home runs, please subscribe and comment, send us a message. Um, we do these videos based on feedback that we're getting from our DIY customers. So if there's anything you'd like to see us do visually, because that works a lot better than a book, then um, just hit us up and we'll make it for you. Thank you.